success doesn't exist without discipline, without hard work. Obviamente fue un año muy difícil ¿no? para todos, tuvimos 13 meses ya sin pelear, tenemos, pero esta pelea en cuanto pasó lo de la demanda que pudimos eh, salir bien de eso, en una semana, dos semanas arreglamos esa pelea, eh, no fue tan complicado. I feel good, feel strong, fast, confident, yeah, I'm ready, ready to go. Eddie y yo tenemos el, la meta a corto plazo de ganar todos los títulos en las 168 libras. Saúl es el mejor boxeador del mundo y tiene que pelear con los mejores. Nosotros sabemos de las capacidades que tiene él, el, este, Saúl. Callum tiene dos cinturones que nosotros queremos y nosotros para ganarle y para ser campeones tenemos que ganarle a los campeones y a los buenos. No podemos escoger a uno que no tenga cinto. Él los tiene y vamos a ir con él. Y si después los tiene... Uno que mida 10 metros y si pesa lo mismo por Saúl, vamos a ir por él también. No gym, no problem. El entrenamiento en sí, todo lo que conlleva el entrenamiento, me hace que me den dolores muy fuertes en mi cuerpo, en la madrugada me levanto, el dolor me levanta, me despierta el dolor que tengo de tanto del entrenamiento. Voy a estar más enfocado en lo que es la pelea, cómo ganar la pelea bien y creo que me, me va a servir mucho, pero la verdad es que, siéndote sincero, extraño mucho el ver a todos los fanáticos. Me siento muy motivado como todos los otros, como todos los demás, me siento muy motivado eh, en seguir ganando títulos, seguir ganando peleas, seguir haciendo historia, eso me motiva muchísimo y esta es una más, con un gran peleador, con el mejor en las 168 libras, es una más para mí. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. It is official. Canelo Alvarez versus Avni Yildirim. It's going down February 27th in Miami, Florida. And it's this fight's getting a lot of heat. But I, I don't understand why it's getting a lot of heat. When the WBC belt was officially available. The WBC tried to make this exact fight basically a layup for Canelo Alvarez. Got a lot of backlash and Canelo ended up fighting Callum Smith, which Callum Smith is no bum. He's no bum at all. But they put the WBC belt on the line for that fight. And basically, if you know boxing and you know politics and things like that, you know Avni Yildirim wasn't going anywhere. You knew he was going to get his shot at some point. It was just a matter of time. And this is his shot. Now, a lot of people are down on Avni Yildirim. Um, don't get it twisted. I'm down on Avni Yildirim. <laughs> like, I just don't think he's as bad as what people are making him out to be. The last time I watched him, he was in a fight against Anthony Durrell. And he lost that fight and that was for the title and Darrell ended up fighting David Benavidez after that but I actually thought Yildirim won that fight against Anthony Darrell so people are making it seem like Yildirim is like this complete bum and he's not a complete bum like he comes in and he he fights he comes in and he fights Canelo yes he's the obvious favorite 
yes, Canelo Alvarez should win the fight, but people saying that, you know, like this is a travesty, all of this and all that. I don't even have a problem with this fight because of the timing of it. Canelo dropped his belt at 160, so he's campaigning at 168. Now let's look at 168. He he just beat Callum Smith, right? We have uh, Billy Joe Saunders, who just fought not that long ago. We have Caleb Plant, who fights January 30th against Caleb Truax. So, and then David Benavidez, we don't know what weight he's going to fight at. He came in overweight and lost his belt on the scales. So we don't know if he's going to be fighting at 168 or 175. So basically, everybody that he could face at 168 pounds either is getting ready to fight or just fought not that long ago. So I don't have a problem with Canelo Alvarez taking this fight February 27th. And from the looks of things, it looks like Canelo Alvarez has basically signed a two-fight deal where he's going to fight Avni Yildirim. And then he's going to fight Billy Joe Saunders after that. Now, Billy Joe Saunders on the nasal spray is a problem. Like, he's a problem. And he's a tough matchup for anybody if he got the nasal spray in his system. If he don't have a nasal spray in his system, he looks like a completely different fighter. Now, he looked good in his last fight, but you have to look at the opponent. You know, whenever your opponent is talking about retirement prior to the fight, they're already retired. Point blank, period. So I don't give Billy Joe Saunders too much credit for that victory, even though he had to get the victory. I don't give him too much credit for it. But, you know, this is basically Canelo Alvarez's next two fights, Avni Yildirim, and then it's going to be Billy Joe Saunders. All of it is going to be on the zone. Um, this fight is going to be good for as long as it lasts. Um... Obviously, Canelo and Avni Yildirim has, you know, sparred together. Um, they've been in the gym together. So they're familiar with each other. So there really shouldn't be no feeling out process between the two. They should know each other pretty well. And this fight has been talked about for the past two, three months. So they should be well prepared for each other, um, even though Canelo just fought. But... I think it's going to be an action fight, like I said, for as long as it lasts. When Canelo fought James Kirkland, we thought it was going to be an action fight, but we thought Canelo eventually was going to knock James Kirkland out, and that's exactly what happened. I think it's going to be the same thing with this fight. I think it's going to be a lot of action. I think Avni Yildirim is just going to come in, uh, try to bust in the front door, and he'll pay whatever admission fee he got to pay to come up in the front door. And, you know, when it come down to it, Canelo is going to make him pay the price. Canelo is going to make him pay the price uh, for him just walking in reckless. And that's what I expect from Avni Yildirim. And I expect for Canelo Alvarez to look spectacular in this fight. But a message for anyone that's been watching this situation or criticizing this situation with uh, Avni Yildirim and the WBC at the end of the day, the WBC wants Canelo Alvarez to be their champion. If they have a vacant belt, they're going to give Canelo the opportunity. And they're going to give Canelo the opportunity against the, the weakest of the available. And that's just the honest truth of it. Like, they don't even try to hide it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't even try to hide it. Avni Yildirim hasn't done anything to deserve a mandatory shot or number one contender status anyway. Like, and that's just facts. And if Canelo Alvarez is going to be fighting Billy Joe Saunders and, and Caleb Plant and David Benavidez and possibly jumping up to 175, then I don't mind him taking, you know, a little tune-up fight against Avni Yildirim on February 27th. I don't have no problem with it at all. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.